Welcome to Coinbook. My name is Calvin Waite, and I'm a professional crypto trader. I really like getting feedback from you guys about the market, what you're trading, successes, failures. So I'm going to go ahead and start giving out a t-shirt every week now. What I'll do is I'll look at all comments from Thursday to Thursday, and then Friday select a random winner. All right, guys, sorry about the late video. I, uh, I was traveling across Montana and there is very little cell phone reception. I actually recorded most of this video before leaving, but I just couldn't upload it because there was uh, no, no good internet. Um, and now that we've had the days close, I've got a little more information and wanted to take some time to really kind of dig into Bitcoin today. So for our update, there were three things from the last video that we were watching that if if we if we had three checkboxes then we would know that we were not going to have a bull trap otherwise it was very likely that we are in a bull trap the first checkbox was can we wick higher than our swing high here and we certainly did and the second checkbox was will we get a body closing above these two bodies and not only did we do that, but we closed above our all-time high. <laughs> so just an unbelievable day. The third checkbox is, have we convinced investors that we're in a continuation phase? And that one I'm going to spend a little bit more time on um, in our next segment. But man, you just can't you just can't not be excited. <laughs> Bitcoin hitting all-time highs today is so, so exciting. <laughs> so congratulations to everybody holding and everybody involved in crypto. This, this is good for everybody. So very, very, very exciting day today. Well, we've been very consistent when Bitcoin has a very good, exciting day. Uh, the alt market drops a bit, so that is our uh, our red candle here and our day right now is at about 10.8 million Bitcoin so our market cap is kind of hovering out out here anything in this range is fantastic if we can stabilize a little bit it'll be great because it gives a lot of coins a chance to move so to be this stable when Bitcoin moved so far today is quite remarkable but um, yeah, they're definitely uh, definitely showing a, a, a different move in the altcoin market. Our others dominance, let me just bring that up really quick. Others dominance is um, kind of on a downward channel still. They so, uh, the others kind of the the micro caps definitely sold off a little harder, but it'll be interesting to see if we find stability here or if we break new lows. So I'll be watching that over the next few weeks. You see this line? This line should be resistance. And the whale's like, uh, there is no resistance. <laughs> so our third checkbox is what, or have we convinced investors that we are in a continuation or not? And that is becoming a very tricky question to answer right now. Um, part of the problem with our uh, with this with this amazing move today is that we are left with a couple of items that are sort of unresolved. Let me head over to the weekly chart, and I'll show you what I mean. If I take off all of this noise, and we just say okay this is a weekly chart um, I don't know what this is but uh, how would you what, what would you predict about a, uh, a chart that looks like this I'd be like okay we got one two three four five six seven candles in a row that are green our entire uh, gain from the swing low to our swing high is it's hard to see a hundred percent okay so we've had a hundred percent gain and we've also had uh, seven weeks in a row of green candles and at the top of this so this candle is only 
it's one day old. So on a weekly time frame, we almost we almost wouldn't consider it quite yet. So I'm going to sort of hide it just for our conversation. And at the top of this run, I see a red doji candle. Uh, it's it's I mean the color almost doesn't matter. This is definitely a doji candle. This is a an indecision candle that that is now appearing on our weekly chart. And if you were to tell me that we've gone up 100% and we just closed our week with an indecision candle, I would say that we are coming up on a reversal. So this definitely go goes kind of coincides with are we really having a bear trap or not? And remember, a bear trap doesn't have to um, it, it doesn't have to obey anybody's rules. All that has to happen is that we have a strong correction. Any kind of a rejection is is enough for that. And so if I go back to the daily, I'm going to show you a problem that we have. No, you know what? I'll stay on weekly. And and we can kind of see. So the support that we were looking for was right at the tip of this. 13, 8, 14, somewhere in here, 14,000. And this is a level I'd been talking about quite a bit. And you can see that in the past, uh, we've had some pretty sweet moves. Uh, 3,000 up to 11,000. But what happened when we didn't quite get things closed? In the in the in these past moves, um, we had the luxury of all of this other trading history, so there were levels that could help support um, price moves like this without too much rest. But um, anytime we get too vertical, we get toppy, and some of this where we had really really good structure right here, and then we broke out. Um, the problem with this is that we would have needed some kind of a retracement to establish this as support to show structure and support. And what happened is we went up so high so fast and then we paid the price. And in fact, it ended in a candle that was so low that this finally gave this move here the support that it needed. And then it could move on. We could, we could move on and head up and everything's gravy. Well, what I'm worried about is that this exact same thing is happening between our 14,000 uh, level because we only retrace to here. And, and on a weekly chart, this doesn't even look like a retracement. There's no, there's no swing low anywhere. So this, this retracement doesn't even, like it's, it's a blip on the map. And it's, it's certainly not going to confirm support here and give us the structure that we need. And on the daily, we also have a problem because even if you said, okay, this is a swing low on the daily, that does give us a handoff on this swing high here. The problem is there is no swing low here. We need two candles on either side with, with higher lows. This does not count. We go down the list. Okay, next chance. We got two on the right that are that are higher. This one's higher, but this one's not. And so we we don't have a swing low. We don't have one. Actually, we have one here. This is our first swing low. And this is at thirteen thousand. So this one, we can we can we can grab a candle over here and say, hey, we have support. It's all good. But this move from about 13.2 to 16.2 is completely unsupported. So we have a $3,000 price gap that is causing, that could cause us a, a problem in the future. The funny thing is, is I, I know in my last video, some people were like, oh, don't you love Bitcoin? Maybe you should be more positive, you know? But my thing is, I do love Bitcoin and I do want it to do well. And I also know that if we don't have the right structure, it's going to be really hard for Bitcoin to kind of launch up into the levels where we would love it to be. And so 
we have this $3,000 space right here that is unresolved. And what I worry is that if we get up way too high without resolving this, um, it could be a really painful trading experience until we kind of find a resolution to that. Just like we moved up really quick here, and then we kind of had to suffer for a while until we got our footing under us. And to kind of show this, kind of drive the point home, um, I have done an overlay. What I did is I just took our prior uh, four-year cycle, where I took the very high all the way up to our uh, 2017 high, and I just overlaid the candles the weekly candles on top of the current cycle. And what this reveals here is kind of what I was trying to say. What we have is we have kind of, the, the four-year cycle kind of has to go through an average situation. Like there's an, kind of an average in the middle here of what the price action needs to do to kind of pass through its four-year cycle. And in the cases where we traded, um, in the in the cases where we traded below the uh, the prior price action, we eventually either had a consolidation to where we met it, or we had to trade up and cross it again. So we, if we get on one side, we end up retracing back to uh, to kind of co to crisscross it again. And it kind of does this back and forth thing to kind of give us our average move. So our most defining point was when in June and July of last year, we just absolutely launched with very little structure. So this is that same, that same segment that I was speaking of earlier. We got so far above what we had done before that our our chart got really shaky and the structure got really, really rough. And then we just went months and months and months and we finally crisscrossed it here, but it just, we had just gone down so much that there was, it was just, we just really struggled. And when we finally overcorrected and went below sort of our mean or our kind of our average, uh, then we bounced and we finally found our, kind of a, a good point in here. So the moral of the story is, if we get too excited too fast, there's going to be some pain because we, we're going to probably, most likely, interact with these candles again in the future. So best case scenario, let's just say we do get really excited and we get way up into here, 23,000, 25,000, like that'd be so great. Well, we would have a lot of a long consolidation or we would have a very, very strong, powerful retracement just so that we could kind of find our, our mean again. And this type of stuff won't be as fun. It's better to get our support earlier than later. But we have, we have uh, I mean, our job is not to force the market to do anything. Our job is to react to it. But as an investor, um, I'm a little nervous. Like even though we have an all-time high today and we closed at record levels, um, it's, it's a little, this makes me nervous. I'm, I'm not, I, I, I just don't know if, if we're quite there. And to be honest, if we go to um, this weekly chart again, you know, this move here, uh, we kind of have the doji candle, but we have a little bit more support than we have resistance. So my question is, is, is this extra support that we had after this move enough to boost us up here before we kind of stall a little bit? So I'm just asking a lot of questions, and I just feel like this move is unfulfilled, and, and moves down in Bitcoin are very uncomfortable. Um, any Anytime we have a nice run, it they these drops can be very unsettling for for a lot of investors uh, especially newer investors and as you recall the last time we got near record highs in our last cycle we did get rejected and 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 this did not happen right away this is not our experience that we're having 
But what we did have is we did have a, a cross into new record territory before we had a sell-off. So I'm not fully convinced that our that we are out of the woods and that we're just going straight up to the moon forever. Um, I know we need a correction. I'm not sure when it's coming, <laughs> but um, I, I would love to get it done earlier and see it correct first before we really start getting ahead of ourselves. So anyway, these are the things I'm looking for. Um, if you did make a short trade or a sell or something like that, just remember this level is completely relevant. This is going to be very significant in the future because this is our most defined line that we have had in months. And so um, I've gone ahead and put a, a horizontal line here. We will interact with this line at some point in the future, no doubt about it. And so if you are long, or excuse me, if you shorted or if you sold or did something like that, even if we get way up here, we will retest this. So if you're like, oh, if I, if I had just closed my position near this line or something, well, uh, let me tell you, you've definitely got time because if we come up here and it is a continuation, this line will be support because we will definitely come back and, and show it as a continuation move. If it is, if this ends up not being a continuation, we will definitely be falling through it. So this line is still a hot line. It's very, it's on the table right now. Okay, it is time to separate the coin book trolls from the coin book fans. So these are the magnificent t-shirts that we are giving away every Friday. These are individually packaged with love from your best friends, China. There's also this incredible option designed by yours truly. And uh, we'll be giving away uh, probably one or two of these every Friday to uh, just a random comment and, on any of the videos over the past week. But, and I don't blame you, if you absolutely cannot live without one of these shirts, I am willing to part with them for $15 worth of your favorite crypto, just reach out to me on social media and we'll, we'll get you guys hooked up. 